And Tracy, thanks for the time. And as you walk away, you step back and retire. What is the feeling that you're going through now? Is it satisfaction or is your career not as complete as you'd like? What, what are your thoughts? Well, I think um, as any player, you know, it's really not complete unless you, uh, you, you, you gain that championship. I mean, that's the ultimate goal that every player wants to accomplish throughout his career. Unfortunately, I was one of those players to uh, not have that. But, you know, as I look back on my career, um, you know, I, I did some phenomenal things over the 16 years that I played. Well, T-Mac, those 16 years went by so fast. I remember the first time meeting you in the back of the old arena, you having that confidence. Who instilled that confidence in you to go out and play the game the way you played at a high level and all the great things you did in the NBA? You know what, man? It, it, it all started um, as a child, you know, on the, on the playground, which, you know, nowadays I don't see that from kids. Uh, just going out every day playing against, you know, the guys, older guys at the, uh, the, the park, playing at the rec, uh, just getting that nasty, uh, grimy uh, type of basketball from dudes in the hood. You know, that's I, I grew up playing that. So uh, playing organized basketball it was was nothing to me. I always, you know, had that confidence from it was being instilled in me uh, as a youngster. Well, coming into the NBA, a lot of young guys aren't two-way players. You came in as a defensive player first, and obviously became a scoring champ. Who gave you that confidence to play both ends of the floor? Well, Butch Carter gave me the confidence uh, my first couple of years in the league. I wasn't, I wasn't going to touch the court unless I played defense. If I didn't play defense, I was going to be right there next to him on the side. So, you know, my, my focus, I, I had a goal in mind when I went out on the basketball court is to play defense. That was the ultimate goal, just play defense, don't worry about offense. And then as I started to gain that confidence on being able to guard anybody on the basketball court uh, at my position, then the offense started to come. You know, I started working with a shooting coach. My jumper started to come. And everything just started evolving as far as my game. Tracy, this past spring with the Spurs, farthest that you had advanced in, in postseason, when you look back on your career, is, is there one or two playoff runs you'd love to have back and say, I'd love a do-over one of these particular springs? Uh, my Detroit series, um, when I was in Orlando, we were up 3-1. And I'm so pissed at the NBA for making that first-round series go seven games because it was a five-game series. <laughs> I would have advanced to the second <laughs> round on that one. <laughs> and that was the first year that they switched it over. And probably the Dallas series where we took Dallas to seven games. I mean, it's just... You know, we, we win the first two games in Dallas, come home and lose two games. I'm like, this can't be happening. <laughs> and then we take them to a seventh game, and, you know, we just we were a no-show. <laughs> um, so those two series right there always stick, and stick to me, and, and I, I think I'll never get over those two series. Tracy McGrady, what can we say? Spectacular play. It was so much fun watching you on the floor. Wish you the best in retirement. Uh, thank you, guys. I appreciate it.